Good Thursday, <clears throat> excuse me, morning everybody. Medi meteorologist Austin Onik from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. And again, looking at some fairly quiet conditions into the rest of 2016. A very happy new year early to you if you're going to be heading out of town pretty soon and experiencing a little bit more wet, more warmer weather or colder weather depending on where you're going. But we are looking at the last few days of 2016 to be relatively quiet. The last day of 2016 as we head into New Year's Eve, more chances of showers and thunderstorms coming on through and we're looking for that potential to continue as we go into the early portions of the new year. This is our online video Video weather blog for those of you who have never stopped by here or experienced it before weather on your schedule from the station that is on your side questions concerns comments ideas if there's something you want to see here that we can help you understand with weather whether it comes to severe weather winter weather whatever's going on we try to make it as timely and topical as possible but if there's something you'd like to see on here more than anything else satellite pictures uh, around the world weather things like that please let me know best place to do that is austin.onic at wreg.com forecast in the red bar at the bottom of your screen more sunshine today than we have seen in quite some time northwesterly winds very breezy 20 to 35 miles per hour and high temperatures today relatively close to normal back in the lower 50s tonight temperatures going back into the 30s and with those winds a little bit on the breezy side coming out of the northwest we could be looking at some pretty good wind chills into tomorrow morning fortunately it looks like things are going to be decently clear out there for the rest of the evening so from some frost on the windshields and some low wind chills as we go into tomorrow morning that looks to be very much on the possible side heading into the rest of the forecast we'll stop by and do some information about the mid-south where it comes to earthquakes nothing to report in the last 24 hours some pretty active conditions out in yesterday with earthquakes in the nevada california area and also from daigo japan some of those earthquakes were detected in the mid-south on the university of memphis center for earthquake research and information. You can find out more information about what goes on with their detectors and how you can get in on that by going to earthquakes.usgs.gov for one and you can also go to SERI for more information there and find out more at U of M at their website memphisedu slash seri mostly cloudy early today clearing off but no delays to report a lot of delays happening around Los Angeles and Newark at this time and it was a few delays around JFK Airport in New York City a few minutes ago, but it looks like that delay has cleared up. So good news if you are traveling. Check in with the FAA for airport delays nationwide at fly.faa.gov. Throughout the next few hours, plenty of sunshine and winds in the red bar on the screen. You notice will be increasing to about 10 to 20 miles per hour by late this morning into early this afternoon. We'll be heading for the lower 50s. That's just above normal for this time of the year and plenty of sunshine all the way through as we get into around later this afternoon into this evening. The winds will diminish by just a bit. Cough Temp Dex, our exclusive coffee beverage temperature recommendation tongue firmly in cheek recommendation index your coffee your beverage your temperature your business so remember if you burn your lips or get a brain freeze it's not our fault as of right now looking at some cool conditions out there so a hot cup of java for the wake up and this afternoon you might want to get something a little bit more icy but otherwise not doing too bad out there brilliant sunshine and fairly quiet conditions at st francis in cordova germantown parkway looking at traffic going pretty well in both directions and no visibility problems there. Lots of sunlight on the Germantown City Hall camera from just across the street on top of the water tower at the area of Germantown High School. Looking back to the west, a few golf carts out there, not too many people out and about for a round of golf at Windy Country Club. A little bit more cloud cover blocking out some of the sunshine, but still some blue skies back to the west-northwest on the Ole Miss campus in Oxford, Mississippi. Olive Branch, Mississippi, the current conditions at City Hall, a lot more sunlight out there. Thanks to former mayor of Olive Branch, Sam Riker, for setting up this webcam around the Olive Branch City Hall area. Almanac for the moon, it's just past new. It's a waxing crescent, but as it is rising and setting, with the sun it's going to be next to impossible to see unless you're really looking for it right after sunset it'll be a little bit more visible into tomorrow with moonrise at about 7:57 on friday morning and setting a little bit more after sunset so it should be decently visible at about 6:33 p.m sunrise and sunset today and tomorrow will be fairly similar nine hours and about 49 minutes of daylight for today increasing as we go toward the summer season yesterday two 
tenths of an inch of rainfall. The almanac showing 1.7 inches, a good surplus for the month, and 8 inches ahead for the year, so doing okay. Did manage to get a lot of that rainfall earlier during the year, and we had a pretty good drought situation shaping up from July through November, so we use a little bit more sustained amounts of rainfall out there. Temperatures well above normal yesterday, 5 degrees above our normal low of 33, 63, 13 degrees our normal high at 50 degrees for yesterday. Record low today hasn't been broken since 1880 of 3 degrees above zero, 72 the record high yesterday, and that hasn't been broken since nine years after the record low, also back in the 19th century. Rest of the day today through about News Channel 3 live at 9 at around lunchtime. The big story for today is, of course, going to be the winds coming in from out of the north and west at about 15 to 30. 25 miles per hour or so, and that's going to be the main story. The temperatures out there for today, that's where we're going to be seeing temperatures again decently close to normal for this time of the year. We should be back into in about the lower 50s or so across portions of the Mid-South, so that is something that should be again decently normal. We may see again the potential of some temperatures a little bit warmer down to around the Clarksdale area, but otherwise not seeing a lot of major concerns for very chilly weather out there. Through about News Channel 3, first at 4, Jim Jaggers will be on with your forecast throughout the rest of the evening, including News Channel 3 at 10, as temperatures drop to the upper 30s. By the time we work our way into Friday morning, winds will diminish, but only by a bit, which means with these temperatures out there, we could see some pretty decent wind chills tomorrow morning. We'll be watching for that very carefully, and numbers into the rest of the day warming up pretty nicely into the mid to upper 40s to lower 50s, but then dropping back downwards again toward tomorrow night. That's also where we start to see more clouds heading our direction. Mostly sunny today, breezy, no chance of rainfall expected. Tomorrow a bit cooler, upper 40s to lower 50s, and more clouds by afternoon and evening. So today and tomorrow look pretty good for outdoor activities. Going to the park, getting some shopping done, whatever it is you're going to be doing, strolling around downtown Memphis, no major problems being seen. Now, the problems start to arrive by New Year's Eve, lower 50s for high temperatures. Showers will begin throughout the early morning hours, but then into around evening, that's where we start to see even more rainfall and quite possibly some thunderstorms, especially about the time the guitar drops on Beale Street. Very mild for New Year's Day, but unfortunately more showers and thunderstorms out there and could be some stronger weather maybe even severe by the time we hit Monday. We'll be watching that with a lot of interest. Big cool down by midweek next week. Lower 40s, upper 30s, and maybe by Wednesday night, Thursday morning, there might be the possibility of some scattered showers turning over to snow showers early Thursday. We'll be watching that with a lot of interest, so stay tuned for more there. Into Middle East over that direction, temperatures in the 50s and 60s, Baghdad, Najaf, and Basra into Iraq. The Persian to upper 60s to around the lower 70s as the the sun sets over that direction, 70 in Riyadh, 74 and 65 degrees currently at Kuwait at the airport. Back to around Afghanistan. Temperatures again not doing too bad out there. Seen a lot worse conditions in, in this area at this time around Faizabad. 50s around Herat and Kabul and 60s around Kandahar with mostly cloudy skies. And back to the Korean Peninsula, the south of the DMZ. Lower 20s around Seoul, mid 20s Chunchan and Kunsan. Tegu and Pusan into the upper 20s to lower 30s. Thanks to Louis Haskett for a very nice sunrise for this morning and for passing that along on Twitter. Got anything to send to us, please do so. That email address at austin.onic Austin at wreg.com and on Twitter at aonic underscore wreg3. Check out my forecast available every weekday morning with Bob and Josh on Memphis in the Morning, then Talk Back Live, Sports Chat, and that's again available on AM 730. And don't forget to download our weather app for your particular platform, go to whatever app store you have and search WREG Weather. We'll be monitoring the forecast very closely as we go into New Year's and beyond. So as of right now, we'll be seeing again changes in the forecast as we head toward 2017. And the best thing you can do is keep up to date with, again, let me see, pointing the right direction here. That way, the weather experts will be keeping you updated as to what's going on with the forecast throughout the rest of the next several days as we close out 2016 and head into 2017. Again, austin.onicwreg.com if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions, complaints if you absolutely have to. But again, we'll do our best to make this your weather blog so you can keep tuning in and keep you updated on Mid-South weather. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. More today at noon and throughout the rest of the day on News Channel 3 on air and online.